In Valorant, there are a lot of maps that people really love, but equally there are maps that people absolutely despise. Especially in this episode, a lot of people are frustrated because of the map pool, and we have to ask the question, what about certain maps make them so disliked? Is there a solution to these maps, or are they fundamentally flawed? And does this beg the question, should pre-match map voting be a thing? There's a lot we gotta talk about, and we're gonna break it all down. Starting with people's favorite and least favorite maps. First off, with the favorite maps, there are going to be personal opinions here. Everyone has their personal favorite map, but the three maps that across the board are the most liked has to be one, Ascent. By far, people really, really love Ascent pretty much across the board. I think the only thing that people really don't like about Ascent is the fact that people say that their walls are made of paper mache, but other people actually like that you can wall bang things and there's ways to interact outside of just seeing somebody. You can find information and shoot people through walls. The other map that people really like is Haven. Haven being one of the closer range maps. It's also a map that has three points instead of two like Ascent, and it's a map that a lot of players can go aggressive on defense, giving the defense side more options. And the last map we gotta talk about is Bind. Close range overall. There's a lot of options for the engagements and rotations with the teleporters. And I do think that everyone that doesn't like Bind, primarily it has to do with the teleporters themselves because I've heard people complain that it's too easy for rotation and things like that. But the average player seems to really like Bind and the other two maps as well. But what about these maps or what similarities do these maps have that make them well liked? And I think there's a couple of things we can look to. Number one, the fact that these maps don't have crazy long sight lines everywhere like there are some longer sight lines but there's also a lot of shorter sight lines and i think there's a healthy combination between the two if you're playing on a sense yeah cat and mid you can get off from but if you're pushing close on a lot of the a and b sides you're not going to run into an op that's really far away you're gonna have the opportunity to trade it or flush it out with utility making it so you feel like you're not dying based on just a range differential and there's something you can do about it directly haven's a very similar way yeah there are points on the map that you can't get off from but it's not every single point is some place that you have to respect an op and there's a lot of combination between close and far ranges and binds very similar as well and i think a diverse amount of ranges and giving players options is kind of the key for allowing people to have a lot of fun on these maps but in order to get to the bottom of it we need to talk about people's least favorite maps but before that skill cap is the best place you can go to to climb right away if you have been stuck in your rank or stuck stagnating in your skill you need the tools to help you climb and skill cap does that money back guarantee so if you don't climb you don't pay so literally what are you waiting for there's no downside and we are so confident in our product that we are giving it to you for free if you don't climb so check it out right now in the links down below now talking about people's least favorite maps i think there's three that really come to mind of course everyone's gonna have their personal preference here but first off breeze undoubtedly is like the most hated map across the board and it's one of the reasons why a lot of people are hating this map pool right now there were reworks to fix some of the fundamental problems with breeze but i don't think that they fixed all the problems there's still some very very long sight lines and breeze is a map that is always going to be sniper centric it's going to be a map that is really kind of enabled by these long distance weapons marshals outlaws operators and i think that that is one of the things that leads people to be frustrated because there's a lot of angles that people can be hold up and potentially holding with a long range weapon or even just a vandal and you don't necessarily know where those angles all are and you can't clear them all with your utility so you are peeking blind into players that have to basically hold a much tighter corridor and there's ways to get around that strategically but it does feel frustrating and it feels like you're powerless and i think one of the things that we'll talk about as we go through these maps is the feeling of powerlessness is really going to make it so that people start to resent a map and really dislike it now also if we look at the b side on breeze each red dot is an angle that you could be swung from and you have to cross so much open space and that's pretty unreasonable and on a it's a little bit better than that but still pretty bad and it makes it so how are you going to be holding proper crosser placement how are you going to cross this at all you really need a lot of utility to which makes it so you really rely on your teammates a lot and if we compare this to a lot of other site maps like a on haven a on ascent it's nowhere near this difficult to cross through that space and i I do think
think that it's easier for you to isolate angles with the utility. So this is one of the things that I think creates that feeling of helplessness that a lot of people dislike. The next one that we need to talk about is split. And split has become less and less liked over time, which is different from fracture, which we'll talk about in a second. But split has been a map that I think people kind of liked it at the start of the game. But as the meta has gotten more established and Sentinels have gotten more established in the meta, the map has become one that just a lot of people are really frustrated to play. It's very defensive sided, even with all the changes that have been targeting that, trying to make it more even. And I think one of the things about Split, it's kind of in contrast to Breeze, Split has the opposite problem where every single area of space is very important to clear with utility. And there are so many micro areas that you need to clear and it makes winning rounds and taking space on attack very hard, and it makes it even harder to trade kills. Each box is a critical area you need to clear, and it's such a short range of space that trading and timing things correctly is very difficult. And to a lesser extent than these first two, third one is Fracture. And I do think that Fracture has gotten more liked with time, and especially now that it's been out of the map pool for a while, some people are kind of antsy for it to be back, and I think change is always a good thing where you get tired of a map for long enough, you're excited to see it back just a little bit, although uh, people weren't really that excited to see Breeze back. But I do think that Fracture was a map that when it first came out, if you don't remember back when it first dropped, everyone hated the map. Like it was the most hated map by far. There were people talking about this map was a mistake, get rid of it. But the more and more people played on the map, the more and more people liked it. And I think it was because Fracture was so different than most other maps, right? You had to push out on defense and take space and fight for control. And it was so much different than even Counter-Strike maps and Valorant maps of the past, I think it did it successfully and people kind of felt that as things went on. Now, I'm not saying the map is perfect, but I do think that the map has become more liked with time. But when we look at a map like Split, it hasn't really gotten more liked with time. Breeze hasn't really gotten more liked with time. And I think that if a map is kind of trending upwards, then it could probably be left to ride. But if a map is trending downwards or never trending upwards at all, then maybe there's some more fundamental problems with the map. But I really want to talk to you about what is your favorite map and why? What is your least favorite map and why? And what are the things that you think make a fundamental good map and a fundamental bad map? Let me know down below. Now this leads us into the question, why are some maps so loved and some maps are so hated? And I think it's a combination of factors. For loved people like freedom people like flexibility they like to not feel like things are out of their control they like to feel like their pick doesn't decide the wins or losses so for instance right now on breeze if you don't have a viper good freaking luck and i don't ever think that a map where you don't pick one select character and it feels like you already lost the game i don't think that's a good thing and i feel like breeze is one of the examples where that's like at the most extreme now that might not be the map's fault right it might be there's not enough characters to fit on on this map and maybe if there were two or three or four more line smokers like viper and there was a lot more options or there were more characters with mobility or whatever then all of a sudden people wouldn't be as frustrated at breeze and maybe if snipers were weakened and there were ways to neuter that aspect of the map then maybe people wouldn't like breeze as much i think you could deal with all those problems or some of them are not going to be dealt with for a very long time or you could address the root of the problem which is breeze itself but can you fix a map like breeze or does it even need to be fixing does it challenge people in a way that other maps don't and that's good should every map just become clones of one another in the way that people really like or should there be some diversity at the cost of some people not liking it maybe for a healthy pro scene or the fact that it allows other characters to get the limelight and i do want to actually pass the question on to you do you think that breeze is a map that should have a fundamental rework where they really change the entire thing shift everything around or do you think some small changes or do you think it should just not get any changes and it's fine that some people don't like it but maybe like a map pick system could balance that out with time down the road. I want to hear your opinion about that. Now, as far as why are some maps really hated? And we talked about this before, but I'm going to reiterate uncomfortable feelings, certain heroes dominating and being forced to conform to a meta. I think those are some of the big things. And especially when the amount of angles that you have to challenge kind of overtake the amount of utility that is even optional to you and like two to three other people combined, that can create some frustrating moments. And I do think that there's a balance and it's a hard balance. So one of the things is you can always create a map that is very similar to the 
the maps that came before, right? They know what people like. They know people like Ascent. They know people like Bind. They know people like Haven, right? And they could just keep printing like variations of those, but it never pushes the envelope. And you got to understand that there is a uniqueness factor to maps that make them interesting. And I think that finding the balance between creating something that is unique and different, but also is something that people enjoy is hard. And as we talked about with the Fracture example, some maps initially are going to be things that are against the grain, completely new, no one else has tried, and then people might really dislike it at the start, and then some people come around, so it's worth doing even if it doesn't end up being a loved map. And I don't really know the perfect solution here, but I did want to pass the question off to you. How do you feel about the map pool as is? How do you feel like the future of Valorant will play out with new maps being introduced? And do you want something like a map pick system? Or do you think that's going to make it so you're basically only playing Ascent over and over and over again? All right, though, guys, before we wrap this up, let me tell you a little bit more about Skill Capped. So we offer a five division rank up guarantee, and that's a pretty crazy thing to offer. It's like a gym membership guaranteeing you'll get ripped. Your local gym would go bust if they offered that. Not us. We've offered this for years because our service really works. It works so well, in fact, that we're able to produce by far the largest catalog of premium Valorant guides on the internet. We add new courses every month with over 1,000 guides curated into 50 courses no one can compare. We also have a direct line of communication with subscribers in our Discord so that you can get connected immediately to some of the best players in the game who respond to any and all questions asked. Sign up today for as little as $6.99 a month if you are serious about improving. So that's going to be all for this one today. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.